Hey there, voters. I'm Stacey Hanrahan, and welcome to Friday's episode of The Voters TV. First up, our captain's caption photo was brought to you by Abby's dad. We'll reveal the caption of the day at the end of the show. Now let's see what's making waves in nautical news. The USS New York was christened on March 1st in New Orleans, prepared to sail under the motto, Strength Forged Through Sacrifice, Never Forget. The ship is made with steel recovered from wreckage of the World Trade Center after the terror attacks of September 11, 2001. Defense contractor Northrop Grumman Corporation used nearly eight tons of steel from ground zero to cast its bow. Ronald Sugar, the company's chairman, said, no matter how many times she carries young Americans into battle, we can be confident that like her namesake, New York, she may know damage, but she'll never know defeat. Ship workers should also be remembered for their sacrifice Hurricane Katrina hit Louisiana as the vessel was being constructed. Ship workers built the USS New York as they were rebuilding their lives. The ship has already proven to be tough, as it took two powerful swings of a champagne bottle to be christened. USS New York will be officially commissioned into the Navy's fleet in New York City next year. Next up, it's time for our boat test reports, feature of the week. The 33 Supersport is the smallest cruiser in the Carver line, yet remains luxurious and feature rich. Accessibility to the bridge is located at port is just a few short steps up. The captain and companion seats have armrests and are on an adjustable pedestal base. Captaining in this boat is made simple with the fully equipped console with Teleflex combination gauges, split shifters, stereo remote, tilt wheel, and room for additional electronics. The curved windshield helps deflect the wind and provide an unobstructed view. Just in front of the console is a bench seat for your guests to also enjoy the ride. Four easy to use steps with non-slip surface make accessing the bow of the boat easy and stress free. Back in the cockpit you will notice an abundant amount of space. A hot and cold transom shower is conveniently placed right next to the transom door. The engine room is gel coated for a clean look. All of the wires are labeled on both sides and each engine can be easily accessible for routine maintenance and checks. A large sliding tinted glass door brings us into the cabin. It has a standard screen door which is not typically found on a vessel of this size. The airy cabin is spacious and bright. You'll almost feel that you are on a much larger boat with the 360 degree view that you have from the outside thanks to the larger windows. The salon is decorated in wood cherry and features a sofa with double recliners. The fully appointed galley comes complete with a built-in garbage can, covered stainless steel sink, microwave coffee maker, and an oversized Nova Cool refrigerator and freezing. And you'll never have to worry about spills with the stain-free Corian countertops. The elegant stateroom's queen berth lets you relax after a great day on the water. Enjoy your favorite DVD with the optional flip-down flat-screen TV. The two cedar line hanging lockers allow you to store your belongings for the long trip. And the separate AC and heat controls allow you to sleep in perfect comfort. The layout of the head is quite functional, featuring a stylish vanity and a fully enclosed shower stall which makes getting ready an easy task. Our test boat had an optional second stateroom located on the starboard side of the boat, which comes with either a queen bed or can be converted into two twin beds. The 13 foot 1 inch beam makes handling in all water conditions seem easy. The overall length of the swim platform is 38 feet 3 inches. She weighs 21,000 pounds, fully loaded with water and fuel. Powered by a pair of Crusader 6.0 MPIs with fresh water cooling, our boat reached a top speed of 33.9 miles an hour, turning 5,100 RPMs. The 33SS cruise most economically traveling at 25.3 miles an hour and at 4,000 RPMs. Thanks to Boat Test for that report. To see more, you can cruise on over to Boat Test website at www.boattest.com. And in smooth sailing, a boat that's powered by the sea. In the past, boats have been powered by everything from fossil fuels to wind, from the sun to simple elbow grease. Now a Japanese sailor will harness the energy of waves. Kenichi Hori and Sunishi Shipbuilding Company 
have built the world's first wave-powered boat, the Suntory Mermaid 2. This 31-foot catamaran has fins at the front of it that generate propulsion by moving up and down like the tails of dolphins and whales. The fins are designed to absorb the energy of waves and improve the boat's stability. Sails or an outboard motor can be used when entering or leaving a harbor in calm waters. On March 16th, Kenichi plans to sail nearly 4,000 miles from Hawaii to Japan in the hopes more people will take wave power seriously. Kenichi is no stranger to new ideas. In 1996, he sailed solo from Ecuador to Tokyo in a solar-powered boat built from recycled beer cans. And in 2002, he celebrated the 40th anniversary of his first solo Pacific crossing by sailing from Japan to San Francisco in a boat built from recycled whiskey barrels. To learn more about the Suntory Mermaid 2, go to www.sunishi.co.jp. Now it's time to reveal Stacy's TheBoaters.com celebrity profile pick of the day, which is Captain Jeff Markham and his 44-foot Sea Ray, the Getaway 3. Actually, the Getaway 3 is up for sale if anyone out there is interested. Jeff and his wife recently bought a lake house and are in the market for a pontoon boat. And although this is jumping topics, check out this picture of a house made out of a freighter that Jeff shared on his profile. Welcome to the boaters and congrats on your sea liberty status. And finally today, the captain's caption of the day is Flintstones do dingy, submitted by Carolyn Weckeser. And that'll do it for this episode of The Boaters TV. See you back here on Monday.